Hi there, this is Mary from VIPS TV. Today we're going to study about locations. The location of something with preposition between, next to, under, and above. Okay? Now, number one, between. Don't say between, okay? Between. Between. Now, the lamp should be between these two beds. Um, okay, now we have the lamp. Okay, the lamp just like uh, usually, just like the light for you that is near the bed for you before you sleep. Okay, the lamp should be between these two beds. So two beds. If the lamp is between the two beds, that means it in it is in the middle of two beds. Okay. For example, here we have A, B, C. So I would say that B is between A and C. Okay. B is between A and C. That means it is in the middle of the position of A and C. The lamp should be between these two beds these remember these as here these two beds the lamp should be between these two beds the tea kettle the tea kettle or you can say the tea kettle tea kettle use usually used to boil the water for you to drink tea or drink coffee the tea kettle or the tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave. For example, like we are in the kitchen and I'm looking for the tea kettle and somebody talked to me that the tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave so that it could be easier for me to uh, look for it, right? Okay. The cooker. The cooker is is the thing for you to cook the food, especially rice. And uh, the microwave, remember microwave. Microwave is, um, you know, for you to uh, heat or to cook the food very quickly. So microwave, the cooker and the microwave. The cooker and the microwave. The tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave. The tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave. Number two, we have next to. Remember, we also have to s, okay, for the words that have X, okay? Next to or beside the same. Next to, next, next to and beside, okay? Uh, B. I can say that B is beside A or A is next to B. The same. B is next to C and C is beside B. You can say next to or beside the same. Okay? Beside. A is beside B. B is beside, beside C, but B is between A and C. Remember that. So, next to beside. How about putting this bookshelf next to the window? The bookshelf is, you know, the shelf for you to put the books, okay? How about putting? If you use how about and after that is a verb in to suggest an idea like what do you think about do you think it's a good idea to put this bookshelf next to the window okay how don't say how uh, how 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 about putting you can say putting or putting okay how about putting this this bookshelf bookshelf next to the window how about putting this bookshelf next to the window that means like uh, do you think it is good idea to put the bookshelf next to the window now her dictionary you can say dictionary 
or you can say dictionary, just like American English. American English prefers saying dictionary, but for British English, people love saying dictionary. Okay, dictionary or dictionary. The same. Her dictionary is beside the laptop, or I can say her dictionary is next to the laptop. Her dictionary is beside the laptop. Now, number three, under. Under that mean is in the lower position of something. Okay, lower position of something. So under. Now, B is here, so I can say that D is under B. Okay, D is under B or with E, B is under E. Okay, lower position. D is under B. And B is under E, or I can say D is under E. Okay, under his tennis racket is under the bed. You can link them together. Is under his tennis racket is under the bed. His tennis racket is under the bed. Your is your. You can say is your. Link them together. Z. And why is your is your bicycle under that tree? Is your bicycle under that tree? That means that I'm not sure that is your bicycle or not. And then I want to check that. Okay, the bicycle that is under the tree is that yours? Okay, is your bicycle under that tree? Above, above. Don't say above. Okay, above. Ah, uh, above. Above, okay, like this. Something is above the other thing. That means is in the higher position of something. So here, B. So I can say that E is above B. Okay, E is, is above B, and B is above D. Okay, B is above D. So instead of saying that B. Is under E. You can say that E is above B. Okay, D is under B, or B is above D. Uh, now, uh, and for under, uh, uh, under and above, right? Under, you can use maybe below. Below is still okay, and above you can use. Over, um, somehow it's the same, but in some situations it's kind of different. Okay, but uh, somehow the same meaning under uh, the same would below and above the same would over. Above, what is link them together? What is above the fridge? What is above the fridge? You know the fridge or the refrigerator. The uh, the thing, the equipment for you to put the food in to keep the food cold or keep it fresh. Okay, fridge or refrigerator. Fr, fridge, fridge, fridge. What is above the fridge? I see something that is above the fridge, but I don't know what it is. So I have to ask, what is above the fridge? I think we shouldn't put the clock clock above the the door. The clock, the clock, um, the clock is you know, uh, you know the things for you to see the time, what time it is. Okay, the clock shouldn't shouldn't that means should not. I think we shouldn't put the clock. That means I don't think it's a good idea to. Put the clock above the door. Okay, I think we shouldn't put the clock clock above the door. I think we shouldn't put the clock above the door. Now one more time. Between between two things, two people. B between A and C. Okay. The lamp should be between these two beds. The lamp should be between these two beds. 
The tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave. The tea kettle is between the cooker and the microwave. Number two, next to, beside, on the right, on the right, on the left. Okay. A next to B. B next to C. How about putting this bookshelf next to the window? How about putting this bookshelf next to the window? Her dictionary is beside the laptop. Her dictionary is beside the laptop. Number three, under. Under. Remember, lower position. D is under B, or B is under E. Okay. So his tennis racket is under the bed. Is under. His tennis racket is under the bed. Is your is your bicycle under that tree? Is your bicycle under that tree? Now above, above E is above B or B is above D. Okay. So, what is above the fridge? What is above the fridge? I think we shouldn't put the clock above the door. I think we shouldn't put the clock above the door. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope that it is useful for you. For you now,、uh, remember to know how to use between, next to, under, and above for locations of something. Okay, so that's all. Thanks. Goodbye. See ya.